everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I just wanted to come in and do a well, kind of a quick video. I just wanted to show you this really cool, it's called the Ducross Paper Mania Sweet Treat and it's an A4 Ultimate Die Cut and Paper Pad. Now I did share this briefly in my What Did I Get video and then I wanted to do a separate video on it just to show you in more detail exactly what you can do with these. I have had these kind of packs in the past and you just literally have everything you need to make cards, gift bags, and then there's all kind of pre-made little boxes in there and envelopes and things like that. So yes, yeah, so this is the A4 one, and then what you get, your first sheet is all these stickers. You got your alphabet and numbers, and you just peel them off there, and you can see they come away. And then these ones are beautiful, I love the font on these. And again, if I just lift it off, they just peel straight off and you can stick them onto your projects. So I thought that was really handy. And then you have, there's all the rest of the alphabet and the numbers. And then you get all these little kind of pieces that you can pop out. So this is like a little tag. So you take this piece out here. Now, like I said, in one of their other ones I've had, I can't remember the theme, but they had these in. So you just fold them over. Then you have a little tab on each side, which is where you'll add your glue. And then you pop out, the middle bit and if you imagine you stick all that down like so and then you just put out a corresponding little tab here so you'll have enough of these tabs so we've got one two three four five six and then you've got one two three four five six so you just find one that's going to match and it will slide in and it just makes a really cute little gift tag like so now you can add these in your planners and things like that if you want, but I think they look really nice kind of hanging from a gift bag and then you can write two and then as the, you know they can pull this piece out and then on the back you could have a little message as well. So they're really sweet. So I'm going to be making everything up in this pack. I'm just giving you a brief little overview and then I'm going to have some fun and make it all up. And you've got these little tags here as well. I think they're just extra decoration. I will find out. Then you've got the bows. I've used these before again. They're brilliant, really quick to do. So again, if I just take this one out they all match so there's that one and then it's matching pieces here and again I'm going to curl it and do it all properly but you will curl those around stick the back sides like so and then that whole thing sticks on there now you'll see there's these little joins if you grab yourself just a little nail file you can just literally buff them off or you can trim them with a pair of scissors I'm not sure how well it's tiny. See just the little joins there? Like I said, I just tend to just do that and just buff them off straight away or yeah, trim. There is a little hole there through the middle as well. So you can add some string around it as well or some little, little diamante or something in the middle. But aren't they cute just to kind of, you know, set off your gift boxes and bags and stuff. So again, I'm gonna make all of the bows up. Then you've got all these trims, which again are nice. So if you wanted to add, say, one of those bows with a belly band, I pull this piece off here, like so. If I put together that bow, roughly, and then if you imagine, put it on this kind of strip, and now you could wrap that around a gift box. You could have it on your lid, you can put it at the top of a gift bag, or you could have that right through a card. So there's loads of ways to use this. And again, I'm going to be showing you all the little projects that I've made. Then we get into the real fun bits. I love all these. So these are all the different biscuits. Again, if you're in the UK, you will be very familiar. Well, I guess, they, um, again, I don't know how worldwide these things are, but for me, these were like my childhood sweets, which I briefly, or treats even, that I, I briefly spoke about in my What Did I Get video. But you've got the pink wafers, bourbon biscuits, which are my favourite, rich tea fingers. You've got the iced ring, jammy dodger, another iced ring. That was like a shortbread thing. I still can't remember the name, and there's another iced ring. And then you've got the tags. And I just think these are going to look, look lovely, just popped out put a little hole punch in there, put some ribbon, have it dangling down. You could do a real nice little cluster, you know, a little dangle hanging or something. I don't know, I've got all kinds of ideas, but I think they're great. These are your little gift boxes. It's all done for you, so it's perfect for if you just need something really quick or if somebody's asked you for something and you, you maybe, you know, just haven't got the time to sit down and score and do it all yourself, then it is handy sometimes to have these pieces. So you just go along and just burnish, oh I ripped that a bit there, I have to put a bit of glue on that one. But you just go along, fold everything in, fold in your tabs on the side there. You can fold in the bottoms. The good thing about this is you can make them all up and then they can store flat because you don't actually need any glue for this piece. So you can see there how it will pop in once that's glued down, it just all pops in. And then this here just folds in like so. 
you get a really cute box but now you can decorate it you've got all these sentiments you've got little sweets so again I'm going to go through and show you just how much you can get out of one of these packs because they are very handy they're great if you want to do a party you've got you know your children your grandchildren and they're going to have their birthday party how nice you can make all of these up with this one pack so you get lots there you can see all these boxes in all the different prints and then at the end, well, not the end, we're not even halfway through, but you've got all these extra bits and pieces. You've got little tags, you've got little, these kind of um, hole punch kind of protectors or ring protectors. So you just fold that over and yeah, you can see it decorates the side of your paper. So again, in your planners, these are really good. You've got all these tags to hang out. You've got the biscuits again there, which are great. You've got these little tabs here. So again, if you've got a file, you fold that over your page and you've got your bourbon biscuit, I think it's brilliant. But it's also nice to put on a card, you can have a little tab on the side of the card. So again, I'm gonna be making all these bits, got that there. Then you've got these big envelopes, these are always nice and handy. These ones here just pop out. Again, just follow the score lines, like so. And then you fold each one over itself, just like you would seal up the top of a cardboard box, like so. Again, you can pop a little bit of ribbon around that, but then these pieces here, you can pop inside and you can write a little message on them. So it's almost like, a, yeah, that's like the little card, but you can write something on the back there and that will sit inside. They're just lovely, just really fun. So you've got more here. So these ones are slightly different. So these are, well, I guess more traditional style envelopes. So this one here, fold in those sides and then you've got the curved piece at the top. So you'd fold that one in first, and then stick those down. Actually, I'd do it that way. Stick the sides in, stick that one down, yeah. And then that one will stick over the top. And there's your little envelope. So how nice will that be hanging off with like a gift bag or a gift box, for example? Again, more bits and pieces there. Then you've got these sections. You can make little mini albums. You can make an organizer. You've got like a to-do list, just a little note to say, notes. Then you've got these little pockets, like so. So this one folds over, this one folds in on itself. So you put glue on there, you'd fold this one up. So you put glue on there and there, fold them all in, and then this is your top one, like so. And then you've got these little bits and pieces that you can add into it. But again, it just makes a nice little gift card case, or you can you know, add it into your mini albums, all kinds of stuff. So you've got quite a few of them and then you get onto your papers so I'm going to make some gift bags with these got that great paper there two of each of those sheets then you've got this one here you get three of this one so again I'm going to make a gift bag and I'm going to make a card to match and again this one here I thought that one because you've just got the one would look really nice as scrapbook layout so I'm going to keep that one spare I may not do show anything with that one but I will eventually do a scrapbook layout with that because I just love all the sweet treats sweet treats around the outside then this one here again I've got two pieces so I'll make a gift bag love that one there that'd be another gift bag and then you've got the sprinkles more sweet treats it's making me hungry this paper pack and then you've got your planes another one there with some of the same images, the pinks, and then at the very back you've got vellum, beautiful vellum, really really lovely that matches all of those papers, really really fun, I love the sprinkle one. Once you put this against white it really pops as well. So that is a quick overview of what you get in one of these bumper packs, there is so much in here and I am now going to make as much as I can with it just so you really get to see exactly what's in there. But like I said, I think these are perfect if you just want to kind of make them all up and keep them all spare so they're ready to go when you need them. But also if you've got a party, then this is this is all you need because it will do everything for you. You could even make bunting out of the big sheets of paper. So you could have decoration there as well. So yeah, so I'm going to make up as much as I can. Okay, so I have had a really, really good time making lovely little projects with this collection. So I had an idea. I'm going away on holiday with my girlfriends uh, next week and I thought it'd be really nice to give them all a little treat, something to just put maybe by the bedside, so we're staying in a really nice barn. So I think I'm gonna do, well I am, because I've done it, but we're all gonna have a little bag each here. I'll show you what I've done with them all in a minute. And then what I've done to remember the holidays, I've made a mini album with all of this collection. So with the paper, I've made these gift bags and I'm gonna make one here now, so you'll get to see how to make these. Really easy, just simple little kind of paper bag, gift bags, that's what we call them. 
And then on the on each one, I have one of the envelopes that come with the kit. So you saw those and you just pop it out, put it all together, it's really easy. And I'm gonna put a little note in here, a little card, which I'll do off camera. And then I've just got these little bits here. So that one says you're a real gem. And then what I'm gonna do with the stickers here is I'm gonna personalize it. So for example, this one here can be for Hayley. So I'm gonna put H for Hayley. Okay, and then that's just gonna go like so. And then I have added the bow along the bottom with the trim that come with it as well. And I've just finished it off with a little gem and the peg was from my own stash. So that's what I've done with all of them. And then inside are these boxes. So they're the boxes that you make with the kit. And <laughs> I'm laughing to myself because I didn't have any and I had to go out and get some. Some of you might already know what I'm gonna say, but when I saw the size of these boxes, I thought to myself, I'm pretty sure they're gonna fit a Tunnix tea cake and they fit it perfectly. So how cute, I've put these ones with the little bow on top and then you open it up and look inside. <laughs> it fits like a glove, it's literally meant to be. So everybody has a little Tunnix tea cake and then also I'm gonna fill the rest of the bag up with just little sweets that are on this kind of collection. So I might put a little bourbon biscuit and a custard cream in there and then when we have a cup of tea in the morning then everyone can kind of dunk their biscuit in the in the tea in their tea i just think it's a really nice little gift to do and i know my friends will love it they will say oh god that's so you sam what have you done you're so sweet kind of thing because yeah i kind of do that stuff when we go away i'll do like the silly little gifts so yeah i absolutely adore it so i have used so much of this kind of kit and they're the rest of the little boxes there with the tonics tea cake in and these are going to be little spares that I'll just give them all as well because there's enough for us to all have two each so the stickers will be used for that and then in here I have used all the rest of the papers all the little cutouts I've used the vellum I've added the pom-pom trim myself and also these um, binder rings are my, my own now this mini album is one that I made last Christmas and I'm going to link the tutorial for that up here so if you just head over to that then you'll be able to make this and it's dead simple and then even the little kind of ring protectors I've used on this so basically you just open it up you've got lots of room for photos these will hold four by six photos and you can get up to 40 photos in this album so I am going to fill this album with photos of our Glee holiday and then I will kind of give you a little I'll just do a little overview video just so you can see kind of how it looks but the nice thing about this is so inside here will be my photos and I always like to get my photos printed with a white frame so I can stick my photo directly on here I might do a little bit of journaling some, some of them I might have as 4 by 4 so I've got room to do a bit of journaling there but also what I like is that I've used the vellum in between so when there's a photo there and a photo here with the vellum in between the photos won't stick together so just flick through I've put little tabs on here says so the bourbon biscuit tab Again, you can put a nice photo there or do some journaling. Another bit of vellum because if there's a photo there and a photo here, and then you open it up and you've got a photo there and a photo there. So there's, like I said, there's room for four photos on each page and there are 10 pages. So again, just flicking through, I've got some more little tabs there. And then on some of the pages I have done, that one's got to go in there. Um, and that one's got to go in there. Here we are, this one here. I have these little kind of tuck spots. So I've used two of the iced rings there and just stuck glue just around the bottom parts. And then I've got these little tuck spots. So whatever photos or something I might have in this section, I can write the date, where it was, what we were doing. So we're gonna do shopping and we're gonna go out, out, and have nice meals, things like that. So it's gonna be lovely. So I'll get some nice photos. And then just added the little tags and stuff here. And I just love how it's come together. I like making these quick little albums and I think it's uh, gonna, yeah, it's just gonna really tie everything together, it's nice. And then these ones here, oh, that one seems to have stuck on it, there we go. I just put the little mini biscuits on the top of these little tags. Again, I can write stuff on both sides there and they just kind of tuck inside. And there's another little tuck spot there. And this one here. Got again, so I've just used all those lovely little pieces. That's a good one, so I can put lots of journaling on that. 
I think we can hire bikes as well. So we, the, and there's a pub just down the road. So I think we're hopefully the weather's going to be nice. So we're going to hire bikes and go to the pub for lunch. So that again, I'll get some good photos. So as long as they're uh, they're uh, they're okay, I'll share some of them on here. And then at the back here, I've just put the notes that all kind of cut out on there, and I can just kind of conclude the weekend and write anything else I want to there. And then finished it with all these lovely papers so I, again I was saying how great these papers are and it's always nice to make something that you get to keep so you always get to remember the papers because some people are like oh I can't cut into that or I don't want to cut into it you must you have to and if you make lovely things like this for yourself to keep forever then you're always going to appreciate it so that's that so all that is left is this stuff here my stickers those number sheets because they'll be handy for you know other things and then that one there which was I'm going to do a scrapbook layout on these ones I didn't want to cut into them but I think I'm going to make one just one big gift bag with those so that is what is left out of all of that stuff and I've made some really really lovely things but now I just want to quickly show you how to make that gift bag so this is the one that I'm going to make for myself because I have to have one as well I can't miss out on those Tonics tea cakes. Okay, so it's A4 size, so you just, it's just, this is the default A4 that comes in the pack. I haven't cut it down at all. So long, it comes in at 11 and a half. So along the long side, you want to score at one and three quarters, five and a half, seven and a quarter, and 11. And then rotate to the short side and you want to score at one and three quarters. Now again, you can make any size bag with this. This is just the size that I thought would be nice. I wanted to get as many bags as I could from the paper as well as make the mini album. So I've really tried to maximize the amount of projects I can get from this. Then you just want to fold and burnish all of those score lines. Okay, then we need to do a bit of cutting. So you want the, you'll have, where you scored at 11 inches, that, that'll be a half inch kind of piece left. That needs to be on the right hand side. And down in that bottom right hand corner, you'll have this little rectangle. You just want to remove that completely and then just cut a little wedge off of the edges there of that tab and then along all those score lines there'll be three score lines along the bottom you just want to cut up to the top or sorry just cut up to that first score line and again with that one and then again that last one and then the squares you've got this square here and this square here you just again just want to take a little wedge off of those. Okay, so that's what you should have. Very, very easy. Next, what we're going to do is we're just going to run glue just down this one here. So along that half inch tab, just run some glue. Now, this is paper. It's not, you know, it isn't a thick cardstock. So that's why I thought, it was, you know, it worked well for just this lightweight little gift bag. But again, how lovely if you are doing a little party, maybe for your grandchildren or for your own children, or just for some friends, party favours, you know, whatever. This is a, a really, really fun pack. I'm really pleased I chose it. And then I'm going to bring in, so the one where you've just joined your seam, stick that one down first, like so. And then I'm just going to add some glue onto each of my tabs. So stick that one down there. And then that one. And then you're going to put glue on the one on the front. And then that just sandwiches it all together. Okay. And then you can just turn the whole thing over and just pop your ruler in. And just make sure it's all stuck down. Okay. And then your tab where you've joined should be at the back, it'd be in the back left hand side there and then just bring in the tops like so just squeezing them together and just come down as far as you want really and you want to fold it over about half an inch and then fold it over again like so okay and then I've got my bow and this piece here and this is just to decorate and it's going to run along there I'm just going to again run some glue and it's coming up about half an inch you just want it so it's got room for that bow to sit there we go and then I'm going to pop some glue on the back of the bow now because it's already die cut it's very very quick to assemble I've done all of this in an afternoon including the mini album so you know you don't need to think oh you've got to put back a week to do all this because all the hard work's done for you so now that's that piece done and then I've just got my little peg and my little gift tag there 
I might write a little note to myself. <laughs> and there you have it. How adorable are these? I cannot wait for my friends to see them. I know they're going to love them. I'm sorry to Louise and Katie, who are my two other friends. It's usually there are seven of us, and unfortunately they can't make this holiday. So guys, you're going to miss out, I'm afraid. You don't get one of these treats, but um, I'm sure there'll be plenty more times. And then my wonderful album. But like I said, I will do a flick through that again, because I'm going to have the name of where we stayed and the date. And yeah, I've got lots more that I want to do to that and fill it up, of course. So yeah, so I hope you like this little kind of inspiration video showing you that lovely collection and a couple of tutorials as well because you've got the one on how to make this really simple little gift bag and also just follow the link for the little mini album that I showed you there as well and uh, yeah I think it's lovely so thank you craft stash thank you for letting me choose this one I love it as always I'll share all the links below for that particular kit if you've enjoyed today please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye